to talk about uh, the Fred Durst attack. Yeah. I it's, didn't catch that. Sure. What? Okay. <laughs> Matt, I'm, let me ask this. Yeah. Wooly, a man rushed on stage to a Fred Durst concert to attempt to drop kick Fred Durst. Now, now wait, wait, hold on. Do you think that A, the drop kick failed and the man looked the buffoon? B, <laughs> nailed the drop kick and Fred sold it really well? Or three, nothing happened and this drop kick story is a lie. Hold on a second, because neither of you mentioned. No, no, no. no. Oh, he looked at it. No. Neither of you that mentioned. That was going to be the surprise. I think we started looking it up before we really said anything. Oh, my God. Please tell me this is as sad as it Do sounds. Do you think that it was A, a random fan, <laughs> <laughs> B, an ex-lover, or C, C shaggy, shaggy too dope. dope of the insane clown posse. Look at this screenshot. <laughs> Doesn't get close to hitting him. I was expecting a Nero on Dante style, full on boots to the face when you say drop kick. This appears to be way behind him and Fred not noticing. He was kind of leaning over. Which caused both of the feet to just completely miss. Limb Biscuit set at Rock Allegiance Festival in Camden, New Jersey, and Saturday night was briefly interrupted after the insane clown posse Shaggy 2 Dope reportedly rushed the stage in an attempt to dropkick Fred Durst. Wait, let me, let me do the next part. Shaggy was ultimately unsuccessful as his kick landed short of Durst's body. He was immediately confronted by security, and a fight ensued on the side of the stage. For his part, Durst didn't seem to recognize that Shaggy was his assailant. What a pussy. He couldn't even pull it off. <laughs> Durst remarked before telling security to calm down. It's just one guy. Wow. Wow. Fuck the results of uh, Habib, uh, Habib versus McGregor. <laughs> this yeah. is the real UFC right here. So I did not know, but apparently Fred Durst and ICP have like decades of bad blood. 20 year long feud, apparently. Oh my God. Are well, you Fred wins this me? round for sure. By doing nothing. I mean, I didn't know he was still performing. <laughs> anyway, there's footage of it. From many angles. So you can go try to watch Shaggy 2 Dope, <laughs> a.k.a. some dick bag. So, Violent J starts a consumer advocacy show to warn people about buying bad fursuits with his daughter. Shaggy attacks Fred Durst. We can all agree now that Violent J is the more responsible, Violent insane, J, insane clown posse member. To be Violent honest, Violent J, hero dad, Shaggy Two Dope, crazed assassin. Okay, but how does the drop kick bring <laughs> the bring the juggalos closer to Jesus? That's what I'm trying to figure out. I don't know. You've been saying some weird shit lately. Um, dude, no. <laughs> that I don't believe. Fi no. You know P.O.D.? Yeah. Insane Cloud? It's one of those. No. Insane Cloud Posse is all about the Lord, dude. No. No, it How is. did you miss this? I the Dark this. Carnival it is about God. So how does the first suit awareness bring those closer to the footprints in the sand that carried you? You know, how do we get... How do we get but Jesus? When I was walking, I only say one set of prints, and then Jesus says, "That's where I picked you up to throw you at Fred Durst." That's when Jesus put the Juggalo makeup on. <laughs> That's not saying there are no fucking Juggalos in Jerusalem. Juggalo Christ! You don't know that. <laughs> you don't know I'm that. I'm pretty sure I know that. If you're a juggalo in Jerusalem right now, please write into the email that we will no, have later. Like ancient, like biblical <laughs> Jerusalem. I'm sure there's one or two right now. <laughs> oh, that's what you meant. Yeah. That's different. I don't mean right now. There's probably one juggalo <laughs> per country on at Earth. Least, at at least. least. Anywhere oh. Fago is sold. Yeah. Which is oh. most towns. <laughs> when, the, when, when our Lord and Savior was stabbed with the fucking lance, Fago bled out of his body and everyone loved it. Uh, and Longinus supped upon the Fago <laughs> as he painted his face. Was Longinus the first Juggalo? <laughs> Some may say to this day. So you uh, see the painting of the Last uh, Supper and Judas you know, is putting the makeup on. You know, I mean, like, who's to say that, like, 
<laughs> cavalry yeah. and the mountain yeah. was not no. the first gathering of the juggalos. It's possible. You never the know. The first gathering yeah. was around that cross, was it not? Totally. But but the ICP had the fucking fighting game with the strippers, and that's yeah, not so, God. Yeah, whatever. It's the long con. Listen, oh, Jesus pushed okay. the rock over, and there was a guy playing with magnets in front of him. And Jesus looked upon that and said, I don't understand that shit. How does it work? That's a miracle. And he pointed at it, and that was a miracle. See, yeah. for a long time, we've known Judas as the traitor, but we didn't know his last name. Judas Durst. No, uh, no. Uh, I was going to say violent Judas. Judas Durst. Judas that, too dope. That's where it started. Yeah, maybe. All right. Because Fred Durst is super into God enough. He wears, like, Jesus Jesus. Around all those rap rock, rock groups are. They're all uh, secret Christian bands. Oh, uh, maybe Linkin Park was. I, I bet Evanescence know. is actually super about Jesus. Yeah, I can no, see No, they're all, like, they have, well, there's that Gregorian chant song. I don't nah, know. Into, but I feel like they're all, like, a culty. They're super into Jesus and Donkey Konga. That's true. Yeah, that's true. More, th I think they're trying Which to convert people yeah. to Donkey Konga <laughs> more than anything. From like a photo that's like 15 years old. Anyway. I love this story so much. This is like a gift. If if he had hit him, no one would be talking about this. Your Lord and Savior. Yeah. Was the fact that he missed. Well, no, people would be talking well, about yeah, it, yeah, but, but it wouldn't be as funny. It wouldn't be as funny. The You're fact that Fred just looks confused. He's like, "What? Did someone try and drop you <laughs> again?" <laughs> Anyway. I don't know why it happens every time, Matt. What? But we're trying. But like, it is the truth that you need to believe this that the Lord, your Lord and Savior was down with the, the clown. The problem is that you're just saying it. He was down with the clown. <laughs> okay. Just the from it? day no, one, all of, all they released a bunch of albums that was like the what was it? The fucking Joker's deck or some shit like that. Great Malenko. Uh, and it was all it was all building up to something, and then the fucking <laughs> last one came out, and the build up was that it was Love about God. God, because the people that they always uh, fucking sang about murdering and shit in their mm. songs, they were all drug dealers and corrupt cops and bad people that they should kill for God. And it was about Jesus and the Lord. And then they put out that fucking magnets shit, which was all miraculous nonsense. How do fucking magnets work? The Lord will tell you. If we turn to Daniel 7, we can read about some sick beasts rising up out of the but ocean. But it's like it that kind of smacks of let's just be like delinquents and let's just talk about fucking blunts and kicking people in the balls or whatever the fuck they sing about. Yeah. But then later, when they're old, like, fucking 40-year-old fart knockers, they're all like, oh, you got to find Jesus now. Let's retcon our older... That's what it sounds like, <laughs> Willie. And you know what? And you know what? You could be right, but we'll never know. We'll never know. You'll just have to take... Who are you to say a band can't retcon their You're, fan base? No, they can. You just... You can't say that. You just got to take along. Shaggy 2 Dope and Violent J's word at face value. I have fucking You no have idea to what trust those about. crazy old clown man. They sing about blunts and kicking. Everything's people. for a reason. The drop kick is for a reason. You yeah. ever see them fucking commentating their own goddamn wrestling matches? What a fucking shit show that is. I can only It's a that. mess. So was Dean Malenko like a member of them? I don't that's really weird. Why did they like why were they part. involved with the Dean Malenko? Dean Malenko is one of the most straight shooting, like I have nothing about me type dudes ever. Because there was a whole I great Malenko thing that they were all about for a while. Know, man, what do we got next? I'm tired.